Alright, well hello and welcome back to another killer video. And today we're going to be playing a little bit of Trapper, who really has been one of my favorite killers for months now, almost a year, really. Um, and we're going to be going for a little bit of an interesting build today. We're going to be going for a padded Jaws build. Now, this is a very difficult, or a very counterintuitive, I guess is the word I'm looking for, add-on. Uh, essentially, well, actually, let's just go over the perks first. First off, we have Infectious Fright, meaning that whenever I down somebody with a basic attack, and I'm pretty sure when I pick people up out of lockers or out of traps, it applies as well. Uh, anybody who's in my terror radius will scream and will reveal my location to them for six seconds, which will essentially allow me to snowball pressure whenever I down people. It'll allow me to decide whether or not I should be going for a slug and pressuring somebody else, or if I should maybe just pick them up if I don't hear anyone on Infectious Fright. And I'll just pick them up, take them, put them on a hook, whatever it may be. Uh, Infectious Fright actually helps out a lot against uh, flashlights and pallet saves as well, because if you see, if you have a survivor that's running up to you to try and get a flashlight save, a pallet save, whenever you down the survivor that, that they're gonna try and save, You'll see where that other survivor is with Infectious Fright. It'll allow you to to stop them from getting saves when you pick up. Next up, we have Save the Best for Last, and this definitely comes into play with our padded Jaws add-on. What Save the Best for Last does is it grants you one obsession, and then anybody you hit other than that obsession will start giving you tokens. And for each token you get, you'll have a 5% faster uh, hit attack cooldown. So essentially, every time you hit somebody that is in your obsession, that, that cooldown will start becoming faster and faster, up until 40% faster at 8 stacks, which is where Save the Best for Last essentially just allows you to hit somebody and immediately start chasing them again instead of having to hit somebody, wipe your blade, or whatever animation it may be, spend, you know, like a full second almost just staring at them running away. Save the Best for Last takes that time down so much and allows you to play very aggressively. And it does pair well with Infectious Fright, because if you can down somebody, quickly recover from that, and immediately find someone in Infectious Fright, you'll be on them very quickly. Next up, we're going to be running Thrilling Tremors, and what this perk does is whenever you pick up a survivor... Ooh, actually, I just want to mention real quickly, forgot about that. Save the best for last. Do, uh, whenever you hit your obsession with a basic attack, it'll actually take two tokens away, so... When you down, if you're all the way at eight, at eight stacks and you down your obsession with two different hits, then you're gonna end up losing four of those stacks, going down to four stacks as opposed to eight. Next up, we have Thrilling Tremors, however, and what Thrilling Tremors does is once every 60 seconds, whenever you pick somebody up, you every generator on the map gets blocked unless there's somebody working on it if there's someone working on the generator you'll it'll still have its normal red aura but every generator that you've blocked off will have a white aura letting you know that there isn't a survivor on it this allows you to know where to go after you've put somebody on the hook or after you've just picked them up and dropped them if that's all you want to do and it allows you to put pressure on generators specifically as opposed to survivors this is very similar to barbecue and chili but in my opinion it is the better of the two perks because it allows you to pressure generators directly and it works in at every range it's not like barbecue where it has a 40 meter range it, this works at all times if there is a survivor on a generator you will know about it after the Trevor's pairs really well with our last perk pop goes the weasel i've been preaching about this perk for a while now and it's just an incredibly strong one whenever you hook somebody for 60 seconds you can kick or the first generator you kick will instantly regress 25 percent meaning if a survivor is working in it alone that's 20 seconds of, of that progress just gone just like that and it sprays extremely well with thrilling tremors because you'll know exactly what generator servers are working on so you'll know exactly where to go to kick them with pop goes a weasel now onto the interesting part of this build the padded jaws add-on this is a very counterintuitive add-on as i was saying before where essentially what it does is it makes it so if somebody steps in, an, in a bear trap, they don't get injured at all. It doesn't matter if they pull themselves out, it doesn't matter if a teammate helps them out, they just straight up are healthy. <laughs> so what Padded Jaws uh, gives you in return for this is it gives you double points whenever a survivor is trapped, which is definitely not worth it at all. You It's much more worth it to have your traps actually hurt people if they step in them. 
But Pat and Jaws actually has a pretty cool interaction with Save the Best for Last. Excuse me. <clears throat> what Save the Best for Last does with Pat, or rather what Pat and Jaws does, is if you hit a survivor that's in a trap, they don't actually go down like they normally would. So if you think back to whenever you've played Trapper yourself, you might th uh, you might remember whenever somebody's in a trap, if you hit them, they'll immediately get, pop out of the trap and fall into the dying state. What Padded Jaws does is after that first hit you get on them, they're actually just going to be injured. So they'll go they'll pop out of the trap, and it'll be a weird animation because they'll fall like they're falling into the dying state. But no, they'll just stand right back up, and a lot of survivors don't realize this because of the animation being so strange. So, what you can do with the padded jaws is you can hit them once in the trap, and then hit them a second time, basically in the exact same spot, which they the best for last. And you can build up to two stacks off of them right there, and then... <clears throat> but as I said, this is a very risky add-on, because if you don't... If you aren't there to punish it, then they literally just get out completely healthy without having a care in the world, really. And for our second add-on, we're going to be bringing the trapper sack for an extra bear trap and uh, the transportation of one extra bear trap as well. So, uh, an add-on I use all the time. This really should just be base kit. <laughs> but anyways, let's get right into the video. Hmm. I don't actually remember playing trapper on this map yet. So, this might be an experience. Kick this wall right now. Man, I kind of hate this killer shack for Trapper. There's nothing you can put on it. I saw that Meg right above me. This is gonna be a trap actually specifically for the Meg here. Hopefully she isn't looking through the- yep, they look through the windows. I'm lucky. That drop's gonna get it this time in a second here. <laughs> Alright, I chose a very good direction to try and get off. I hate these new pal loops that have uh, those pals that are kind of indented into the wall because it feels so awkward to try and run into them. I think that might have been bounce landing. She moved really fast. Yeah, I need to try to get undone immediately. This is a decent squad, I can tell already. I'm gonna regret not having broken that trap before. I see him above me, but I should have honestly looked at him to see if he was my obsession. Yeah, she has no idea where I am, so that's great. I don't know if... He's at the killer shack. I can see his feet through the wall there. He's about to vault the window. Yep. I'm not actually going to go put pressure on him. I'm going to put pressure on this mag over here. She's my obsession, of course. Trap the palace so she can't stay at it. And now I'm going to kick this. They're going to go pick up that other mag. It's like, uh, that was kind of a mistake, leaving her there. On the ground, I should have picked her up and tried to activate Pop Goes the Weasel as fast as I could. I don't know how blind she thinks I am, but I'm not that blind. <laughs> That's huge. I can block that generator off with Thrilling before anybody can come finish it. I think this is a two-man? Maybe. I think good that other Meg and the Steve are uh, sort of in front. I'm not 100% sure, though. You see that Steve cross over to the right? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, there's Steve on the right side of this structure right here. I'm going to wait till Pop goes off his generator. You can't actually kick a generator until Pop... Oh, fuck! I kicked it already. I'm stupid. But you can't actually kick a generator if Thrilling Tremors is activated on it. So, you got to keep that in mind when you're trying to plan out kicking a generator. Alright, I know Steve's to the right over here somewhere, but I've, he's been playing pretty immersed this entire game. So I'm not really gonna bother looking for him too hard. And he walked right into me. <laughs> they went right back on that generator, which means I can come over and kick a pop as a weasel here in a second. I'm gonna pretend I'm chasing him, and then I'm gonna turn around and come over here. They can't run to the pallet because I grabbed the pallet. That's fine. I wasted that pallet a little bit, and I can just trap it again. And I have Pop with a Weasel on it. That mech's still waiting back there. You can't do that. I 
I'm gonna slug her because she probably has a slice of strike back here. <coughs> now, unfortunately, I've kind of killed my save the best for last stacks, but that's fine. I saw the Ash coming in here. It seemed like he might have tried to hide. Yeah, he's probably in one of these lockers, isn't he? Nope, but I swear I just heard his breathing. Okay, I don't know where the fuck this guy went, and I'm wasting too much time. Is he on this generator? Yep. Look at him trying to fucking stealth away. He probably has a burst. I'm gonna moonwalk here. Just walk with, uh, my light facing the other way to try and bait him into coming back. And this is just basically a huge mind game that I'm trying to play on him. Damn, dude, this loop is strong. I don't think he expected me to break through that. <laughs> They already fully healed her, that means there's two of them on her. Man, this is a difficult map for Trapper. If he runs to the left, I have to give up on him. I'm gonna have to come back over here and pressure this generator. They have so many generators that are so close. And she forgot I fucking trapped that. That's since I don't have any save the best for last stacks, I'm gonna. Oh, god damn it. That sucks for me. I didn't wanna. Um... Come on, this loop is so fucking difficult. Uh, and now this team definitely ran back over. He's gonna finish a generator 100%. She's gonna drop this pallet because why wouldn't she? Okay, well, she just fucked up for no reason. I know where everyone is. I'm gonna pick her up. Try and block off generators here. They're actually on three different generators right now. That's the worst thing that could happen to me. Steve's gonna finish the far generator for sure. There's zero I, I can do about that at all. Literally impossible for me to pressure that far generator. I saw a girl run off to the left over here, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm gonna be trying to pressure that other generator. I can't pick. Oh, I already have two traps in my hand. I'm silly. Someone's right here. Yep. I'm gonna come pressure this generator I have to right now. Are they not on it? Oh. There was definitely someone on it before. I don't know why they got off it, but... I have a decent 3 gen. I have to control these generators, though. That's big. I'm gonna pick them up because they're... Oh, wait. Basement is in the middle building. I've uh, never seen that. Hey. Yeah, that sucks. I can kick that generator pop goes a weasel again because they're deciding hey. to pressure it. I could have. Eh, that would have been risky actually. So something you can do with um with drilling tremors is you can try and drop somebody uh, right as drilling tremors comes back up to pick them up again, basically. Back up on that generator. That's why that mag just literally sprinted straight past me. She did not care. I don't have a lot of places I can trap here, unfortunately. I don't really know any. Oh, wait, no, they're not on there. I don't really know any good trap spots for this map at all. That's kind of a shitty trap, but oh well. Where'd they run to? Look at her stealthy ass. The only reason I knew she was there is because I heard her breathing. I, I'm so confused by her movement, dude. I think she was laggy. Yeah, she's really laggy. I don't know if you can tell, but she's just stuttering over and over again. That's what threw me off. I'm gonna come pressure this gen. Oh, they're not even on it. I have more enough time to kick it. Yeah, I didn't expect that trap to stay up for very long. Okay, I'm in a pretty solid spot right now. Damn it, he's gonna get out of that trap and not be fucked up at all. Get away from me, you fucking loser. Ah. This strat is very, er, this build is really risky. And you're seeing why right now. If, if I didn't have had a Jaws on, I would have been able to, I would have, uh, Instantly had a down or a ninja at least onto that Steve. And if I had Morning Stone, then I would have had it down onto him. 
I'm kind of wishing I had Honing Stone right now. I don't care about the <coughs> rather bard time. I really don't. They're not pressing a generator up there, which is what they should be doing. She is live and dance with me, yeah. So whenever she vaults a window, she gets this reverse effect, and she also has no scratch marks. It's a really strong combo for survivors. I don't know if this Meg thinks I'm stupid or what it is, but, and this Meg is stupid. Alright, now I'm in a really good spot thanks to slugging right here. I'm gonna see if she has decisive strike. Perfect, I can kill her right now. <coughs> oh shit, she's not dead. Fuck me. I can block, block off generators with Thrilling here, figure out where the Steve is. He's on that generator up top. Oh wait, never mind. I, thrilling triggered off that other girl and I wasn't paying attention. Might be. I want to try and get a hit here, maybe. Yep. Ah, oh, no. Not a good dead hurt. I wanted to try and get a hit while the while that one man was dying. Cause that way I could have gotten seven sacks and saved those for last set of six. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, no reason for him not to drop this pallet. I'm gonna come see if these generators being worked on. No, I don't see the cylinders moving. That guy ran into the middle building and I see where Steve is back there. I th yeah, he knows I see him. No point for him to hide here. Is he in a locker? Ah! Yeah. I saw his blood on the ground and I knew that he was he is either in the locker or just around that corner inside. Man, this hasn't really uh, turned out the way I thought it would. Uh, or hoped it would, rather. I haven't really gotten much use out of my... Out of my uh, perk, or my padded jaws whatsoever. I'm just gonna trap this again, actually. This will make it harder for the ash to get into the. Oh, I hear him. I'm gonna pick this up and literally just stand on the hatch now. And then he's gonna be screwed. <laughs> Because it just goes to show how much map knowledge goes comes into play when playing Total Trapper. I I didn't know where to trap at all on this map. The grass actually is really shitty for this map because it's not really around loops too much. It's mostly just out. It's just mostly just spread out. So th that didn't really give me the best options. So at least until I play that map more as Trapper. And I'm gonna have a hard time playing it for sure. But yeah, as I said, it, even if it, even if the build didn't go exactly how I wanted it to, it just goes to show how important map knowledge is to Killer League Trapper, like Hag, where you have to set up. And it honestly goes to show as well how strong slugging can be, because the only reason I won that game was because I managed to get a three-man slug at one point. But anyways. I'll see you guys in the next one.